mutual funds are investment products that combine different instruments such as stocks or shares, bonds or both into a single product managed by an expert fund manager. Once investors put their money in a mutual fund scheme, the fund manager then invests this collected pool of money according to the predefined investment strategy of that scheme. While investing in a mutual fund, you should look at where the fund invests, the time horizon of your investment, the risk profile of the product, consistent historical performance across time horizons and more importantly, if the fund's investment objective matches your own. Mutual funds are primarily classified as open-ended funds where you can buy and sell units at any point in time or close-ended funds where you can buy only in the launch period after which the units are listed only on the stock exchange for you to buy and sell. In addition to these, you can also choose a mutual fund based on the underlying asset class and the investment objective of the fund. There are many types of mutual funds suitable for different investors with differing needs and risk profiles. Let us start by understanding debt or fixed income funds. These funds primarily invest in debt securities such as bonds, debentures, government securities, etc. They are considered to be less risky and can provide modest returns. The various types of debt funds include income funds, guilt funds, liquid funds, and fixed maturity plans. Income funds primarily invest in a mix of corporate bonds and government-issued securities seeking to provide returns in the form of income with potential capital appreciation. Guilt funds invest in government securities of medium to long-term maturities. They do not carry default risk. However, prices and returns over the short term, say less than one year, can be sensitive to changes in interest rates. Liquid funds are suitable for investors who seek a high degree of liquidity and can tolerate only minimal volatility. These funds invest only in highly liquid money market instruments such as treasury bills, commercial papers and certificates of deposits. Their prices and therefore daily returns do not vary much, so they are considered a more stable form of investment that can offer moderate returns. Experts sometimes recommend liquid funds as a good alternative to fixed deposits. Fixed Maturity Plans FMPs, are close-ended debt funds with a fixed tenure aligned with the maturity dates of the securities held by the fund. This synchronized maturing takes care of interest rate risk or reinvestment risk. They require you to remain invested for a finite period and unlike liquid funds, they are not easily redeemable. But because the returns are more stable and predictable within a range, they are also considered a great alternative to fixed deposits. Now that you have understood debt funds better, let us talk about equity funds. The primary objective of equity funds is to invest in equity stocks and equity-oriented instruments and provide capital appreciation over the medium to long term. The various types of equity funds include diversified funds, focused funds, sectoral funds, index funds, etc. Diversified equity funds invest in a wide range of stocks across various sectors and market capitalization levels according to the investment objective. Their aim is to provide long-term appreciation to your invested money while reducing concentration risk that is high exposure to a single sector or asset class. Focused funds, on the other hand, concentrate their bets. They may invest only in equity securities of companies with certain defined market capitalization or in those that operate in a single sector or those that in general fall within a predefined set of parameters. A popular type of focused funds, sectoral funds, invest in stocks of a particular sector or industry such as technology. Sectoral funds have the potential to outperform diversified equity funds in case the underlying sector registers higher growth than other industries, but they do carry higher risk by virtue of investing in only a single sector. Index equity funds invest in all securities that form part of a market index such as the S&P BSC Sensex or Nifty 50 and their aim is to replicate the returns of the underlying index as closely as possible. Therefore, these funds help provide investors a broad exposure to the markets. But what if you're looking for high returns but are only willing to take low risk? This is where hybrid funds come in. They give you the benefit of capital appreciation from investing in equities as well as the stability from investing in debt securities. 
Balanced funds are usually equity-oriented hybrid funds with a minimum of 65% exposure in equities and the rest in debt. However, there can also be other asset allocation patterns among hybrid funds. For instance, monthly income plans are debt-oriented hybrid funds which aim to generate regular income primarily through debt instruments while also investing a small portion in equities. Today, you can even access gold by investing in exchange-traded gold mutual funds or gold ETFs. In simple terms, each unit of a gold ETF represents 1 gram of gold and you can benefit from a rise in the gold prices without actually purchasing solid gold and then worrying about how or where to store it safely. Having spoken about debt, equity and balanced funds, let us talk about fund of funds. These are funds which themselves invest in units of other mutual funds, thereby giving you the benefit of multiple funds in one. These funds can also help you access stocks or industries which may not be easily accessible for you to invest directly. Some fund of funds also enable you to invest in international stocks or mutual funds. For instance, there are some popular fund of funds available in India today that can give you access to stocks from international markets such as the US, Brazil or even China. These funds also enable you to invest in high potential sectors or industries that may not have much of a presence in India. With so many options available for any kind of investor, whether you're someone who's looking to create wealth or to manage risk while investing for your financial goals, it's no wonder that mutual funds are such a popular investment instrument today. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.